Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Phantom Fellows. All right, so I uh, did some poking around, just kind of like clicking on things, um, and there's a few things that I uh, definitely missed. I think right here is uh, the, uh, yeah, it's the other uh, uh, jumper cable, <clears throat> or the other end of the jumper cable. The other end is hooked up to the train car, so now I need a battery or something with a large battery in it for this end. Okay, so I might be able to get one, get the battery out of my car. Can't think of any others, but for now. I haven't interacted with the uh, coal car, the tender. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go in. Oliver, why? Because it might be the closest I get to swimming in a pool of spaghetti. Look, listen. I know we joke around a lot, but I do care about you, Oliver. Please, be careful. Don't tell me what to do. Sitting a little closer to home there. Wait, what am I looking for in here? Unclear. Perhaps spaghetti. Well... There is none. Only meatballs. Cool! I found one of those metal pocket bottles. I took it so that I never forget my time here. In this train. With you. Alright. Hey, we cleaned up pretty good, pretty fast. A hip flask. GHS. Gertrude whatever Smith. Hip flask engraved with the initials GHS. All right. Let us chat about your stuff before firing from the hip. Don't you mean hip flask? Ha ha ha! I'm sorry. All right, let's see if we can get a battery out of the car. Now, I haven't figured out a way to... Uh, um, Actually, we want to go this way. Pop the hood. So that might not be possible, but I might see something along the way as well. I mean, we obviously do want to talk about... Uh okay, that's just doing that. Um... No, because you got to be pushing the brake pedal in. If I'm going to do that, I'd have to first gatekeep myself with several questions that all sound like why, though. Feels like where I'll sleep if it all falls apart. Ah! Ah! <laughs> why? Yeah. You can't hurt me anymore. remember if I came here for garbage or a notebook, but now I'm remembering it was for a notebook. Well, we already have that. Does she have anything to say about that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hope. That didn't even get me an achievement. So, can't pop the hood. So that's unfortunate. I do have a flashlight. I don't think that's going to run. No. Alright, maybe we get something later. But we did get this hip flask, and that is... Uh, that might be the... Uh, the item that I missed. 
Uh, let's go in here first. We'll talk to uh, Gertrude. Okay, there's there's two more items that I have missed. All right, flask. You know the coal car is not a garbage receptacle. Hmm. Well, I don't appreciate your suggestive tone, nor do I wish to pocket another rumbumptious accusation of yours. Your initials are carved on the flask. It is an observation, not an accusation. There are lots of initials en engraved on many things, dear, and my proclivity for a good time is no secret. So once again, so I once again find myself suggesting that you and your muck muckender friend saw your timber. Oh, that is low. Calling him a muckender is low. And it is probably going to stick, too. Wait, what's going to stick? Uh, what's a muckbender? But what, though? It is a snottinger. Okay, well, I'm going to sit this one out. I can get my feelings hurt without doing all work. Gertrude. Love that word, though. It's not whatever. Gertrude, we, we will circle back to this point. Do hurry. Okay. Stain and flask. Gertrude, I was thinking about the last time this train was moved. While well, also looking at the spilled beverage stain on your lap and this flask with your initials on it. And I'm imagining you on your way to the conductor reaching for some liquid courage. Did you perhaps reach for a bit too much? Well, I never. It would appear that you often, madam. In fact, tales involving you are so synonymous with alcohol that I am surprised to find you without a large jug labeled XXX. No way, she's a cartoon drunk? That's my favorite kind! Tell us what happened with the conductor so that we know it was not you. Aw oh man, is she hiccuping now, Bubbles? You both must be off your chump speaking to me with such dash fire. Is she? Lie to me! I will not be spoken to like that, not by a bag holder and a table setter. So pull those gas pipes up and listen to me carefully. I boarded this rail to indulge myself in the fruits of luxury travel, and I paid good money to do so. Now, the only thing I expected in return for my money was to be able to enjoy myself up until the moment that I arrived safely at my destination. And what if your enjoyment got in the way of a safe arrival? Then what? My enjoyment, Mr. Picklebender, is crucial to, m to a safe arrival. Well, then. Were you not having fun, Mrs. Smith? Darling, I am the fun. Will she not? I'll just do the... The thing. Okay. Well, that is... Uh, is one more. Done. Flask? Finley, can you tell me anything about this flask? It's Gertrude's. Indeed. Can you offer any ideas as to why she may have hidden it? Not unless she used it, it as a blunt object. Nah, I don't know. She's a very proud drinker. No idea why she'd hide it. Okay, so we got fancy pin, but nothing else. Hey, look at that table. Was that pen always in that cup? It's most likely a dip pen. However, this coach is rather luxurious and upscale, so it could also be a very early fountain pen. Ah, yeah, it's an old scribble stick. An ink slinger. A doodle dagger. A jot jockey. A wit wand. Chuckle chalk. Uh, Pickles, got any wacky names for a pen? Ink Slinger? Nah, I said that one. Mirth Marker? There we go.
There we go. We can be done now, I decided. This pen for sure wasn't here earlier. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps someone moved it here to avoid suspicion. Maybe. I took the pen that someone scrambled to get rid of. And yes, now I do want some eggs. I know, right? Me too. A fountain pen. Unless there isn't an ink reservoir, in which case it's a dipping pen. But it's for sure a pen. We have all we need from Gertrude for now. There is no need for fur to further question her. If you wish to uh, re-ask her anything, I will speak with her again, but otherwise we can now turn our focus to Findlay or Pendleton. Oh, alright. Alright, fountain pen. Finley, I admire the trickster in you. We did this already. Ah, uh, so we did. Uh, how long ago would you say that was about? Ah, oh, dude. No idea. Why don't you just ask it again? No, I am good, thank you. Actually, maybe. We shall see. And I'm also kind of sick of it, too, because of him. I see right through you. Either way, I ain't admired much, so thanks. Finley, can you recall in performing any acts of mischief that it may have had larger consequences than you perhaps thought? Okay, so that's going to do the same thing. Alright. Finley, Finley, Finley. Old habits are indeed hard to break. Oh, no thanks. I know the beginning of a self-entitled monologue when I hear one. I don't want nothing to do with it. We found the brooch and the pen. Did you take Gertrude and Pendleton's things, Finley? What? Of course I did. Why? Because I'm not getting away with something... That I'm not getting away... If I'm not getting away with something, I don't feel alive. I was not expecting such self-awareness. Hey, you brought the facts this time. I respect that. Look, I ain't proud of it, but I never take from no one who needs it. Thank you for your honesty, Finley. Hey, uh, can we maybe keep this dry? I will not say anything. In return, perhaps consider looking into a one Robin Hood. For direction. Okay. Quick exit there. Flask? Pendleton, can you tell me anything about this flask? Well, those are very obviously Gertrude's initials. Finley and my Finley and myself assume the same, but had you actually seen her with it? I cannot say that I paid her the, the attention. It has to be hers. What are the odds it isn't? Lower than that of her hiding it for seemingly no reason. Found pen. Is this your pen? It is. Wherever did you find it? Rather mysteriously, it just appeared on the desk within the cup. I bet it was that little sneeze lurker, Finley. I suppose it hardly matters now. I don't have anything or one to write. I don't have anything or one to write. Hm. Keep it. Thank you. Yep, all right. Well... What a runoff from the top of the hill. I believe most of it is from the ride inside the Sinner's Mine. Oh. This is all Oliver here. I am not, no. Can I, uh, connect this up to the... I gotta bring the car around first. That's okay, I don't need any tapeworms right now. Okay, I was thinking maybe I could uh, attach it to the water. It's water runner from 
runoff from the incredibly sketchy log flume ride at Crazy Ernie's. Look, listen. Hope's music gave me the he heebies. And I have jumper cables. The train car has power input, and at least one light bulb isn't shattered. So you're going to drive the Phantom Truckster down the to the train and hook it up? Yes, and I love that you still call it that. If we do not, who will? Ah. Ideal working conditions. I'm starting to think that train is haunted. Okay, let's hook the car battery up and get these lights on. I love glamping. Ooh. It's... It's... Alive! It's alive! It's a. Al ah, I'm sorry. Wow. I didn't mean to rub your nose in it. It is fine. Now we can begin to heal. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we see anything. If it isn't, you told two dull butter knives again. And you've managed to get the lights on. See, you are capable, despite what everyone else says. Alright, so let's, uh... Look around. See, I didn't realize that the, uh, the jumper cables were going out the window. That's, that's part of it. I think I just... Like, I just accidentally clicked on the, uh... The cable out there. seen anything. Uh, okay, no lights in here, huh? I think it's a mirror that forgot to re how to reflect. Okay, so we got the lights on, but what does that get us? thinking it would be like now we can see something but we couldn't before but I'm not really uh, seeing anything it's one of those long chairs satisfying satisfying Satisfying. Well, it's not actually on. I actually have no idea what's going on with this thing. Best guess it was a is it was a mirror, and then the dampness came. There. Now it's like neither of us were ever here. You do not have sneezing fits, you just give one loud and terrifying dad sneeze. I would need a reason, a ladder, and to uh, complain while doing it, but E... E could just float right up to it and have a quick and easy peek. So, you know, do not be afraid to have a little floatsy up there for us. Well, I could do that. I will decline any tree cuddles. However, if I get a little closer, I can perhaps poke my head out of the roof and look around. Right? I was kind of expecting something to happen. Curi curiosity is an alive man's game. Hmm, I see something caught in the brush. 
Looks like a photo, or perhaps a card. Oh. Oliver, I found an old postcard tangled in the branches of this tree. Here, I do not want to ruin it, so I will knock it down and you catch it. What? The postcard appears to be from a passenger on this train, based on its age. Do you think someone hid it up there? Judging on how it had seemingly come to rest in the branches, I would lean more towards no. I'm surprised it's not, like, destroyed by damp. Alright, I can half read that. I've made it safely out of state lines, but three of his goons are following. I'm sorry, I never meant for this. I will call you at next... Prepay? I've made it safely out of state lines, but three of his goons are following. I'm sorry, I never meant for this. I will call you at next prepay. Prepay? Whoa. You had payphones back then? Alright, well. That's a nice little item that we found. We'll have to talk to uh, Pendleton about that. But that's also going to have to wait until next time. See you then, everyone.